An engineer in Pearland left his job and created a big business out of something that's pretty small. He is creating tiny homes out of shipping containers. How cool is that? Andrew Carita shows us how the man's big achievement is about to be seen by millions. Drew? Hey there, Greg. John Meyer is among a growing number of Americans reinventing themselves in today's job market. He went to a top-notch college, has a stellar resume, and finally got the high-paying job he thought he always wanted. Then he decided he wanted something entirely different, so he took a gamble. If you drove by this 37-acre property in rural Needville, you just might miss the Texas-sized vision that is coming to life here in a compact way. And, you know, we're going to get a couple million people viewing this thing across the country. Just beyond the grazing cows and 10,000 square foot barn, John Meyer is taking a risk, an idea that inspired him to walk away from a stable job in the oil and gas industry. My job was relatively secure, but I was watching the doors close around me. Everybody was kind of, my boss got let go and I, I didn't want to be the next. Meyer gave his notice last January and began putting long hours and intensive labor toward his dream of transforming shipping containers into tiny homes with his business, Backcountry Containers. I'm like, I always see these, these broken down containers on people's yards and the shipyards in Houston. I mean, there's millions of them here in Houston and they're just going to waste. And it didn't take long for the concept to gain momentum on social media. And just seven months later, Meyer was contacted by a production company for the HGTV and DIY show, Tiny House, Big Living. It was like two day turnaround and we had, we were scheduling them to come out. The episode set to air this Thursday features a model Meyer made for his 25 year old sister-in-law. I really feel like I really had a lot of wasted space in my rooms and my apartments and my bathrooms. Like it wasn't very efficiently, you know, laid out. And now I have it, you know, laid out perfectly in the, the models come in 20 and 40 foot lengths are 10 feet wide and have rooftop decks to maximize space. The deck is my favorite part. Meyer says his homes appeal to a wide my demographic and believes a national platform will translate into high demand. I'm going to try my best to get back to everybody as fast as I can, but uh, this is it's going to be a wild ride. And the tiny homes range in price from $25,000 to $50,000. Backcountry Containers will make its debut this Thursday night at 8 on DIY. It's set to air again on HGTV in April. And guys, we were only allowed to shoot a limited amount of video of the model he built for his sister-in-law ahead of the premiere. I can tell you it has a lot of custom features, including a closet to fit her 200 pairs of shoes. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> so, so really, it's just a really big shoe box. Shoe closet. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Sounds Thank like my Drew. kind of place. <laughs> All right.